Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. We now now we're going to throw another one in there because that one's a good one. Lil yeah. Wayne and them. Okay. Now I'm gonna tell you what I I'm, I'm gonna, I got your too. I got your I got your bond I got your bond money ready. <laughs> this this is what I seen people say. I'm and tell me if I'm right or wrong. I'm you, on the outside you, looking in. Yeah, you done told the story. Now you really kind of in. This ain't too bad. <laughs> I this ain't nothing wrong. You told you told the story of how you stood up for uh for them. They was on the on the grape side of it. Right. Right. I. This the internet, so a boy say, man, I know you seasoned brother, you thinking back to a year. Hey, man, maybe you right on the year, maybe you wrong on okay, the year. I'm gonna stop you right there, man. Go ahead. I'm gonna fuck stop you in your tracks right there, then, man. Fuck all that shit, because well, I don't do the was shit. Was your year right? No. Your year and was I right. And I went back on and made another video and re innovated it. Same. Listen, homie, listen, TV Land. First, what I'm not gonna do. We gonna believe. I, yeah. ain't, ain't, ain't none of you niggas gonna ever put me in no spot on this internet and say, well, Big Cap, you was a lie. You, you don't give me no live vibes. Yeah, I'm, um, I ain't no motherfucker. You don't liar, give me live honey. vibes. Now, I, I speak fast because I'm adamant and I'm really truthful passionate. and yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about this shit. Yeah. So, yeah, I speak fast, bro. So, what I did when I was telling Lil Wayne's story, I fucked my year up. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. For me, I said 92, and this was during the time when I did the peace treaty, and we were still in peace. But it's like 97, 96, when this nigga was like 15, 16 yeah. years old. Not then, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. So when I realized Well, you know the internet shit. Right. As soon as you say something, but, but, it's over with. But this is how sure I am about it. Yeah. I seen that. When I went back on, I seen comments, and then my phone rung. I said, oh, God damn, I, that was right, man. Oh, I'm, I said 92 because I know that was my year I was doing all my good shit when yeah. the Peace Street started. So, I, bro, here's the bottom line to ask the Lil Wayne question, homie. My first encounter with Lil Wayne and them, bro, because I had two when, encounters. What, what year was it? 96? 96, 97. Yeah, bro. When, cool. The same year that um, Drop It Like It Hot came out and they was okay. promoting that album. They was going around in their vans and touring and shit. They was really going hard. Drop It Like It's Hot. Oh, uh, what's the name of that day? With Juvenile, Juvenile, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, back, the back BG, they was the group, yeah, yeah, BG, yeah, yeah. Lil hot Wayne, boys. yeah, the hot boys. Yeah, yeah talking so, about all yeah. the money and so all the they cars. So yeah. they was, at the, when they came in the game, they was fucking with the Jordan Downs. Lil Peter Roll and them, my nigga. Yeah. They got induced, introduced to watch through Petey Roll, bro. Petey Roll was Ripping like, the set now? Let me finish. Okay, my bad. They was, listen. Anxious for this one. Yeah, it wasn't so much <laughs> as them repping it, repping it, because they wasn't involved just yet, mm. but they was wearing the colors. They was wearing purple, my niggas. Showing love. Well, you call it showing love. Having love. Listen, you can call it showing love all the fuck you want, however <laughs> you want to sugarcoat it. For the gray streaks, nigga, they was reeling them niggas in. Yeah. And if, if they would have stayed, they would have been fucking gray streaks. Mm. And stay it when Matt got a hold to them. That's when they got introduced to the Damu aspect, which they was already seeing both sides of it. Shout out to homie Mac that yeah. I just got off the phone with. Not yeah, even. Yeah, that's my ninja. Yeah. Feel me? So yeah. when Mac went down there, Mac was what really Mac introduced them and gave them the flavor, man. You feel me? And that's what. So my whole thing was this. When I seen Lil Wayne, BG, and Lil Turk, they was in the record store with the, a Mexican bodyguard. There's two bodyguards. My whole thing was I was already in the Jordan Downs. I was already, I just got through gambling with the niggas and I was smoking weed and I just got some weed. So I'm in the parking lot and I'm ear hustling. I heard the baby loach talking about the niggas in the record store doing a signing. That's how I got wind of it. I lining them up. Yeah, they, they made it lining that ass up. Yeah. Finna go get them. Fuck Peter Roy and because this is another squad out of out of the projects. That don't care. These these Why the hungry wolves. Yeah. So the wolves about to go get them. Yeah. I said, who the hot boy? Now, my thing was, I had just started Paper Chase Entertainment, mm -hmm. my independent label. So, I I was one of the <laughs> biggest independent companies that was hot and watch at that time. I was becoming a competition to my little homeboy, OFTB, and them. Mm -hmm. So, I had signed cast out of the Jordan Downs, PJs, each project, I had a coalition of them now. I got Bonnie Hunters, Crips, Bloods, Mona Parks, I got them on my label. You feel me? Mm -hmm. We were under peace at Watts. So I was trying to teach all these young niggas how we bridge this shit and bring it together, get money, we eat. So we was doing our thing. When when they came and surfaced, this, when Peter Rowe and them bought them to watch and everything, like I said, the youngsters and them planned to go rob them. That particular day, when I was there in Jordan down, I heard that, immediately I went to that record store, which is on 103rd, right across the street from the elementary store. It's a taco stand right next door to it now. The same very place is a laundry mac right now in the day. 
You feel what I'm saying? So I went in there and they was in there. And I seen them, I said, I walked right to, I said, hey man, who the manager? Who the road manager, who the manager? Dude told me, pointed me to the cattle, I walked up to, I said, hey, let me, let me holler at you. I introduced him, told him, I said, I'm buddy on the BJ, man, I'm from the Knicks to go on. I said, listen, man, I said, I got a little label called Paper Chase Entertainment. I just started my shit. I said, yeah, I just had to change my name because you niggas, man. We were CMBs, Cash Money Brothers. True story. So hey, What made you pick that name? New Jack City. Okay. Yeah, that's what they got them to. Because I took the New Jack City formula to the projects when I seen the movie, and I was the first nigga that had multiple <laughs> crack yeah, houses in my projects. they took it to the projects. rap game. So they took it to yeah. the rap game, you yeah. took it to the projects. Took it to the projects, huh? Okay, okay. now I'm, I'm, I'm so, with you. I'm so, riding. I'm in the so, car. Yeah, you can stay with me. Yeah. Stay with me. So, <laughs> so look, now we in the record store, and I'm getting at them, and I tell them, I said, look, man, you need to get your boys in them up out of here, man. Young niggas is plotting to come get y'all, homie. Matter of fact, give me a number, give you contact. Who, who run this shit? Who the head nigga? You know what I mean? So he gave me his number. I call him. The Who's him? Th um, I'm trying to remember this cat name, man. Don't say it if you don't remember. Yeah, we'll just, yeah we'll, I was trying we'll to remember his name, but it. he was the road manager at <laughs> okay. the time. You feel me? <laughs> and so um, once once I talked to him, they left, got on. My little just so happened, Juvie wasn't with them that day, but he was out in L.A. My little homeboy, how I mean and them, was fucking with Juvie. This is how they was split up. So... He had a connection with Juvie. Just coincidentally, he called me and tell me, big homie, I got the nigga Juvie down them number, man. They want to holler at you. So this is how I got plugged with Juvie. And me okay. and Juvie became, you know what Tight. I mean? We, yeah, straight up, A1. So that's yeah. how I started fucking with Juvie that's after dope. the fact of that. But you know what I mean? Look, shoot, they, the, the dude right there on the spot looked out for me, took care of me, you know what I mean? Looked out and they got on, left. Jumped in their little van, got on. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.